for this. All right, so today I will be going over Python library hijacking on Linux from uh, this website and um, uh, as shared by uh, these two websites, right? So uh, let's get into it, right? So I have this environment here on this uh, Linux box here and let's give it a second to load. Okay, so this is the environment here, right? And say in your uh, cron tab here, uh, right? You have uh, this value here. Basically, you're gonna have this script called backup, uh, this Python script in this uh, WW that's gonna be run at root privileges for every minute, right? So this is the, the situation here. And so if we uh, cat this backup file, right here. This is what the backup file is doing here, right? So basically, uh, it's base, the, the gist of it is that it's going to create a zip file and it's using this library from uh, this module zip file here. And it's basically going to create this zip file from all of the files in, in this directory, this HTML directory, right? So very, very simple, this, this, this backup script, right? And the other really important thing that we have to note is that this is going to be run with root privileges, right? So that's the situation. So what is this uh, Python library hijacking? So in Python, uh, and I'm going to show you the command here, right? So if I run this command here, Python, I think it's uh, import sys, and it's going to be sys uh, here. Boom, boom, join using some uh, Python. So I think it's sys path, maybe. And let me look at my notes really quick to see if they actually show the syntax. Oh, sys path. Okay. Join sys path. Okay. So, so. Cool. New, oh, and then they do a new line here. Okay, so new line here, uh, syspath. So what this command is going to do is it's going to show you all the path that Python uses to find different uh, libraries, right? So that's what this command does. Okay, join. Let's see if I have an error here. Yeah, let me just do the easy thing and just cut and paste it for time's sake here. All right. Oh, print. I needed to use the print. That was Mary, right? So this will show you all the different paths. And what you need to note is at the very top here, it's a blank line. So what this blank line here is saying is that it's going to look at the current directory, the current directory of where the script is for the libraries, right? So the, the way this attack that we're going to use is that what we see here in the backup if we grep for import for the backup here, we see that it's trying to use these two files, OS and zip file. So for us to sort of hijack command, what we're gonna do is we're going to create our own zip file here so that it will use our zip file instead of uh, one of the zip files in, in one of the um, uh, default directories, right? So that's how the attack is going to work. And so the payload that we're gonna do is we're gonna use this my shell here. And what my shell is, is that it has been programmed to use set, uh, set UID zero and set GID zero so that if this is a, a, a SUID, a root SUID uh, binary, it will give us root privileges, right? So that's what this my shell. And to just show you in, in, in effect, right? So if we run my shell right now, right? We don't get anything. It's still KFAN because the permissions of my shell and the ownership of my shell is still KFAN, right? So that, that's what my, that's like the current behavior of my shell. Oh, oops, exit. Okay, so, oh, geez. Did I directory? Okay, so we'll just use this this guy instead, right? So, okay, uh, zip file. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna create this, this zip file and we're going to make the import OS here. And we're gonna do OS system. And one of the things that I really like to do is I guess the sort of wanna do a sanity check to see if this executes. So I'll just create, I'll just like create a file here uh, ran.txt. And so if this, if this script actually runs, right, I'm going to get this new, uh, ran file there, right? So that's number one. And then the second thing I'm going to do is that I'm going to do uh, the change ownership of that my shell. Okay, fan, dub, dub, um, my shell, right? Change the ownership there. And then finally, I'm going to give it a um, uh, uh, set, set UI SUID uh, permissions. So that's going to be change mod user plus execute. Um, okay, fan, dub, dub, uh, dub, my shell. Okay, cool. Okay, 
So that this is it, right? Awesome. And uh, it's gonna run for uh, that script and Quan, it's gonna run every minute, right? So we just kind of have to LS a couple of times, wait a minute basically to, to see if, if we get the effect. And, and again, right? Originally, uh, my shell was just KFAN and we don't have, oh, check it out, right? So things to note here, uh, nice, yeah. So he gave me a, a really more uh, advanced version. So uh, the other thing we do is watch LS to have just LS or run, right, you know, every every two seconds, right? So that, that's a really nice trick. But anywho, uh, the thing we notice is like, we have a compiled uh, 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 Python file here, right? So that's something new. So basically, uh, I think what happens there is that when that script ran as root permissions, right? And because it needed to uh, use a zip module, it created that. And the other thing we, we see as evidence, we see this creation of that ran.txt, right? So that's new, but check uh, something that didn't work though, was my shell, nothing happened with my shell. So uh, my guess is something happened with my scripts, right? So let's see, there's a, a mistake in my script. So let's see if we can find the mistake in my script here. Oh, check it out, right? My change owner, I didn't, I didn't put, uh, so I had a mistake there, right? In change ownership. So let's copy that. And I don't know if this is going to affect uh, the fact that there was already that, that PY. So I'm going to, okay. Oh, okay. So before I, I sort of mentioned something about uh, one of the comments. So uh, Nathan said in the comment about, isn't the syntax of, uh, here, is that my, that zip file, isn't the syntax uh, colon? So I did root dot root, but uh, Nathan is saying, you know, shouldn't that be the syntax? I believe both will work, right? But again, right, we'll, we'll, we'll see if, that, if that's true or not. So let, let's like we'll watch LS. Okay, let's let's see that that PYC file pop up so, so like we know if it will work or not. But yeah, so that is in a nutshell uh, the the Python um, this Python uh, uh, library hijacking attack. And uh, it, what else do I want to mention about it? Right. So for those, oh right, so it came up. So let's control C this right, and let's check. Oh, are you kidding me? Why is not my my show and this is why these live demos are good because like we could find our mistakes and sort of try to figure out like hey what's what's the reason behind the, the mistakes here that we're having uh zip file.py oops zip file.py here okay change ownership root root so let's do this instead that's okay and then oh check it out Okay, this should be S instead, and I'm going to go with my original just so you know Nathan doesn't see like I'm just trying to pull a fast one here. But yeah, the other error I had here was that the U plus X it should have been U plus S for for the sewer bit, right? And okay, so then we can do the uh, first. I just want to do the cleanup just in case because I'm not confident that it won't uh, read it versus using the the, the, the compilation. So with that, right? So let's wait another. Oh, nice. We, we timed it right. So we got it right away. And now finally, right? Finally, we got the my shell and we're, we're now root. So boom, right? We got a root shell. So that was uh, Python hijacking. Yeah. So with that, that 